What's up guys and welcome back to our TNA save in TW2016. We're not at a show, but I thought we're at the 1st of July. Let's have a look at who the of things of the year so far are. So rest of the year so far is The Rock, which is awkward because this is when he leaves for Hollywood. So I have set him to leave the business. Just because, you know, I think that's accurate, you know? Then Company of the Year so far has been Noah. Team of the Year, The Brothers of Destruction. Match of the Year, was it Noah Dangerous? Where Kabashi and Akayama defeated Masawa and Agawa. That's not surprising. Show of the Year is King of the Ring from the show from last night. We are so behind WWE, it's unreal. WWE in this, like, save are ridiculous. It's crazy. Young wrestler of the year so far is Ricky Marvin. Veteran wrestler is Sting. Female wrestler Lita and independent wrestler of the year is Rey Mysterio Jr. Yeah, that's right. The boy we hired. The, li the little guy who could. So yeah, we're just going to jump forward to our next episode of Impact now. We are back at our episode of Impact. We're going to jump straight into the show. So... We open with Bret Hart. He says we're going to have a last chance battle royal for the final spot in the Terry Funk Memorial Tournament. I believe 15 wrestlers, if I remember right. I can't remember how many folk were in it. Uh, I think it's 15 people are going to compete for the right to join this illustrious field that he all mentions by name to advance the storyline. Then following that, I kind of thought I might start doing some more lower down the card storylines just to give people a bit more direction. So uh, this is like the first one I thought I'd do. So I bet they had subpar wrestling and little heat. Motor City Machine Guns pick up their first ever win in TNA with a flash pinfall on Johnny Swinger. Chris Sabin, the best wrestler in the ring. Damn right he is. I love Sabin. I thought that would be like a fun little storyline, you know? I'm going to try and, like, give everyone something to do. Because I always think that's quite a good thing to do with a company. I might actually sit down. I might have to start writing notes. Write, like, a big document of everyone's motivations and who they are and what they're doing and who they're aligned with. That's what I do properly when I'm doing, like, proper hardcore TW. But, yeah, I might do that for this save. Because, as you can tell, I'm pretty into it now. You know, I've been playing it for like a year now. Well, I've been playing it in real life for like three years or something, but I'm really into this save now. So, following that, we get uh, CM Punk and John Cena. Now, last week, AMW said they wanted to face Punk and Cena for the tag titles. Uh, but, you know, when the time's right, because they might be in the Funk Memorial. You don't know that. But uh, CM Punk and John Cena, they, you know, take a little moment to say they accept the challenge. And they suggest next month's show, which I cannot remember the name of. It's not Sacrifice. Is this, wait, is it Sacrifice? Maybe it's Sacrifice. No. Yes, it is Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Unbreakable. Yeah, because it's July, August Sacrifice, September Unbreakable, October Bound for Glory. I can remember that, I'm quite proud of myself. But yes, they say at Sacrifice, we'll have Punk and Cena versus AMW, which will be a fun match. So we have a freestyle segment, so Christopher Daniels is going to be in the Battle Royal tonight in Disco. He comes in, he's like, I've seen what's meant to be going on tonight. You guys have a six-man tag. You're down a partner. What about your buddy Disco Inferno? And he starts dancing, and he's dancing. And Kaz Hayashi is kind of like laughing at him, not with him. And Samoa Joe just like death stares at him for like... 
the entire duration of the segment. Like, Samojo looks like he wants to kill him. And then we just culminate with Disco going, I'll take that as a yes. And then he discos away. I can't believe that didn't. I can't believe the segment lost heat <laughs> for a storyline. A 62C for a stupid mid show comedy segment is pretty good, I think. Men, here we go. Our big last chance battle royal featuring. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up to doing the big run on list, so I'll pause. Because, you know, I'm a human being. So, Brian Danielson, Chris Harris, Hero, Daniels, Skipper, making his return. Great Sasuke, Hayabusa, James Storm, Joey Matthews, Cena, Loki, Nova, Pete Williams, Super Crazy, and the Vampire Warrior, who is fanging and also banging. <laughs> Every time I say that, it, like, kind of, you know, it kind of twigs to me. You know, like... I don't fully register what I just said until I say it. But uh, in this bout, uh, decent wrestling, but don't have much heat. John Cena wins the Battle Royal. The other members of the Final Four were Busa, Daniels, and Danielson. With Busa being the last elimination and Danielson getting the most eliminations over the course of the match. I think that's a pretty decent Battle Royal filled by a bunch of mid-card guys getting a 67C+. Plus. That's a really good ring. So then we get a freestyle segment where, where my boy Steve Carino, who's like amazing, absolute jerk character, has sort of got a very special place in my heart at the moment. So Carino, he's mocking Rey Mysterio. Last week he beat him up in front of his friends and family. He made the kids cry like a big villain. And he's at it again. He's like laughing at Rey Mysterio. He's like, ha 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 ha, I didn't think you even had friends, you little nerd. That's why you have to hide your face, because nobody loves you. <laughs> and like, stuff like that. And uh, Rey Mysterio eventually arrives. Like, I think, I think we'll say this is backstage. Rey Mysterio arrives, you know, and he's like, alright, like, calm down, Carino. And Carino's like, okay then. In fact, no, it's in the ring. We'll go for it in the ring. For a specific reason. You can probably guess what it is from the third picture. But anyway, so Ray's like Okay. Like please stop Karina. And Karina's like, ha, you don't have any friends. Those people were probably paid extras. You don't have any real friends, Mysterio. I'm challenging you to find your tag team partner to take on me, because you probably have to get some loser to be your partner. Ha ha ha. And then Ray's like, oh, that's funny, I've got the perfect person in mind. And Greeno's like, oh, what, like, your dad? And then he's, like, laughing at him some more. And then glass shatters. Da -na -da -na -na -na. The minute that happens, Greeno drops the mic, you know, like, mouth agape. He's, like, terrified. Out comes Austin. Stunners Carino. Has a beer bash with Ray Mysterio. It's great. <laughs> I genuinely quite like that segment. I kind of like the weird pairing of Austin and Rey Mysterio. Like, I know Austin's a character that doesn't really have friends, but I kind of like the weirdness of him and Rey Mysterio working together. So in, in a decent match, Air Paris, the Parka, and Ultimo Dragon defeat Disco Inferno, Kaz Hayashi, and Samoa Joe in 1225. When the Parker defeats Disco Inferno by pinfall with the Sky Twister Press. And Disco Inferno was the worst wrestler, because of course he was. But yeah, that segment worked as well as if I would. Oh my word. <laughs> that is a bad rating. But yeah, just uh, give the Parker some momentum. And following it, the match. So, like, Disco Inferno was like, oh man, we were so unlucky this week. You know, we're getting him next week, won't we, big guy? You know, he's like trying to, you know, get Samoa Joe to dance with him. Samoa Joe's just staring at him, you know, blankly. And then he turns his back to him and he's doing the dancing to the crowd. And then Samoa Joe grabs him, Kakina clutches him, and then beats him up. And like, jokes about, he's like still trying to dance while he's on the ground. He's like, ah. Oh. So Tomojo kicks uh, Disco Inferno's ass. <laughs> and then following that, we have our main event of the evening, where AJ Styles and BG James 
take on Jeff Jarrett and RVD and they pick up the win when AJ pins Jeff for the sales clash. BG was the weak link in ring. Oh, 44 BG. Damn, you're better than that. BG James isn't that bad a wrestler. But... Yeah, so I think that's a, an alright segment. And then we continue after that. It's a nice little preview of what you'll see at the Funk Memorial. Call your pay-per-view provider now, except it's on free TV, so don't do that. Oh, except unless you're in Australia, in which case it is on pay-per-view. <laughs> and then AJ Styles and RVD after the match, they get into a big argument. I think part of the story in that previous match is they never really, you know... Clash, it's always RVD's in with BG or AJ's in with Double J. So eventually these two, they're still like pushing each other and yelling at each other and all like blah, 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 blah. And then BG and Jeff start like, like getting involved and then out comes Hogan brother and the Ultimo Dragon and Hogan's like, ah, blah, 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 blah. Hogan isn't actually fighting in this pull apart brawl. He's just standing at the back yelling. <laughs> Because he ain't fighting any of these nerds, in his opinion. But he's like, yeah, I'll show you, brother. And that is how the show ends. That gives us a popularity increase in 11 regions. That's pretty good. Last time it was 10. I thought, no, all right. Bonus region, 71C+. Plus. There's a picture of Grado. Unread emails and decisions. I'll deal with those later. I'm scared of what's in that decision thing. Let's look at our show history. Not our show history. Let's look at our top 100. Absolutely nothing from that show is going to be in here, I think. Yeah, it's not in our top 10. None of the matches are going to be in our top 10. Yeah, I don't think we had a match that was B-rated. But still, we're gaining popularity. Even though it's not... You know, a knocking it out the park show, it's still a very good show for the size of our company. But let's see how let's see how our company size is doing actually. Like our popularity. Cause yeah, look at like the Southeast is like we're getting towards the highest we'll get there for a while. But look at everywhere else, you know? We're still quite low and we're getting seen in all these places. I don't know if we're in Puerto Rico actually, in Hawaii. But look, oh no, it's not all the US, it's these. I think it's Mid Atlantic, Mid South, Midwest, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest, Tri State, I think, are the ones where TV deal. I can't quite remember. But you can see that, look. Look at that, like, you can definitely see a progression since we've got our TV program. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like. If you want to see the other stuff I do, you can hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.